This is the Axon Simon. This device turns any HDMI signal into lightning, allowing your iPhone or iPad to act as a camera monitor with access to cool monitoring features from the Simo app. But that's not all. If you are a live streamer looking for a mobile solution to stream your shows on the go, the Axon Simo device and the Simo app can help you do exactly that. You can stream any HDMI signal to the web, YouTube, Facebook, even custom RTMP coming from a mirrorless camera or any HDMI switcher like the ATEM Mini, for example. So today I'm going to show you how to set up your HDMI camera and an iPhone. Of course, use your phone's internet data or Wi-Fi to stream. So no computer needed. Thanks to Axon Simo for the ultimate live streaming experience using your iPhone. So this is what the mobile setup is going to look like. Again, you can customize it the way you want, but I'm going to show you first off everything that you're getting when you buy this little device. So as you can see, this is everything that you get in the box, cables, all the accessories to be able to connect. However, since this is a mobile setup or a wireless setup, you're going to need some sort of battery to be able to power it. And actually, in some instances, you may be able to use it to charge your iPhone, which is cool. So obviously the second thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need some batteries and this device actually uses this NPF9070 type of battery you probably have seen or already have some, but if not, don't worry, you can easily find them uh, on Amazon. Personally, I got a pack of two with a charger and these ones actually are really, really good. They give me enough power to be able to power my device. Another thing you're going to need some sort of HDMI cable that will allow you to connect your camera to the Axon Simo or to the adapter. And in my opinion, since this is a mobile setup, I will actually suggest you get really a short cable. Number four, you're going to need an actual camera or an HDMI source. So it could be a camera or something like the ATEM Mini or the ATEM Mini Pro or any sort of switcher that has hdmi and finally you're gonna need your iphone because that's what you're gonna need to be able to live stream so your phone needs to have uh, some sort of internet connection or service or you can actually use wi-fi as well because that's gonna be the main connection that's going to push your stream to the web by the way, if you're wondering, this video is not sponsored by Axon. However, I did personally reach out to them after seeing a lot of videos covering this device on YouTube and no one was actually talking or showing the ability to be able to use it to actually live stream. So that's why I reached out to them and they were actually able to send it to me. I'm keeping the device, but they're not telling me what to say. They didn't even ask me to make a video about it. So now that we have everything that we need, it's actually time to go live. So step number one, we're going to go ahead and power our Axon Simo. And of course, we're going to mount it on the top of our camera just to make sure everything is well steady and ready to go. Again, depending on what you're doing, maybe if you're vlogging outdoors, you probably have a different mount. But for my situation, this is what we're using. Step number two, we're going to go ahead and download the Simo app. What you need to do is you're going to go to your app store and the app is called Axon C, Axon C. So you're going to type in your app store, type in Axon C and you should be able to get the app no problem go ahead and download it i'm assuming you know how to download apps for your iphone so the next thing you need to do you're gonna go ahead and schedule your stream okay so what we need to do we can go in your back in your youtube studio and click schedule a stream again i assume you know how to schedule a stream i'm gonna go ahead and reuse my old settings uh, from another stream okay you can monetize it if you want again we're not gonna monetize it uh, do all the crazy good stuff i'm gonna make it unlisted and you can go ahead and schedule it for maybe another date 
and hit done whatever date you want if you want to go live right away you can go ahead and actually do it okay so what you need to do you're gonna go here uh, in the back end of your stream they have scheduled and you're gonna need your default key uh, stream key okay so you're gonna copy your stream key and your stream url those two things you're gonna need however in the app the simo app actually you're gonna see that if you're streaming on youtube you may not need the rtmp or the uh, server link because it's already pre-made for you but if you were doing something like a custom rtmp for sure you're gonna need that okay so you need to copy the stream key and actually email it to yourself once you receive it through email again i'm i'm uh, i'm gonna advise you to use your phone when you're opening your emails you're gonna need to go ahead and copy your stream key from your email through your phone and paste it into the simo app so let's go to the app right now and i'm gonna show you how actually it works so once you open the simo app this is what it's gonna look like okay so you're gonna go ahead actually hit monitor by the way this thing was originally invented for monitoring and as you can see we have so many features here for monitoring focusing zebra stuff like all the monitoring and you can even use it to record videos from your hdmi camera or any hdmi source into your phone which is crazy we're gonna go to the live button here okay and uh, before we actually go there, I just want to show you a few settings here. You have some histogram, waveform, focus speaking if you need to use that function. Again, this is going to be for more for like monitoring if you want to use it. You have your audio here, audio settings, okay? And you can see like you can, you know, do some uh, left and right panning and stuff like that, which is great. For you to be able to get the audio, you're going to need some sort of microphone. Uh, it could be a microphone mounted on the, on the top of your camera. So depending on how you're using this setup, again, keep that in mind because the audio is coming through the HDMI cable. So it has to be embedded within the HDMI cable. You can also go to the audio input here where it says audio input and the encoder here and you can set the video bit rate so as you can see i can change it to two megabytes per second i can go up to 10 personally the other day i'm gonna link a test stream that i actually did on my channel and i believe i was at 8 megabits per second now i'm not sure if this is going to affect your stream quality uh, because i can see it being more for like recording but i assume maybe it's going to affect again don't quote me on this i'm not 100 sure your encoder h264 and your video input 1080p 30 frames per second everything is here now if you go to the live tab they have few um services already kind of pre-made for you so you can choose if you want to use youtube or facebook whatever you want okay so let's go ahead and maybe choose facebook and then the second one the second config is gonna be your youtube uh, i have already you know kind of i did a youtube test so that's where my youtube is and then the third one you can choose maybe custom right so if you have let's say sometimes you go live on youtube you can have your youtube settings already kind of ready for you and have your facebook uh, settings again in another config config number two and then if you have like you know a facebook group or any other custom rtmp have it on config number three and as you can see the only thing, I mean, you need two things, your RTMP URL and your stream code, your stream key, and most services are going to give it to you, no problem. You're going to email to yourself, and then you're going to paste everything in here, and that's pretty much it. If you're using YouTube, you just select YouTube, and all you need to use is your stream key. Put it in there, paste it in there from your email, and you're good to go. As you can see, we have the signal coming from my camera. So as you can see, if I move my camera everything is there no problem that's my messy studio here another thing is you need to if you're using a microphone obviously closer to your camera you need to turn off the volume from your phone otherwise it's gonna create some feedback okay so now we are ready to go live actually what you need to do you're just gonna hit go live and right now is pushing the live stream to youtube we can actually go to youtube studio right now and see if we're getting the stream and as you can see boom 
the stream is here if i move my camera obviously there's a little delay it's moving no problem so again i have done it myself if you want to see an actual live stream that i did with it it was clean it was really really good i didn't have any connection issues or anything the only thing you have to pay attention to is your cabling how your cables are because if you lose a little bit of connection on on your hdmi cable then you may lose the signal which is not great so you want to make sure your hdmi cable is tight your usb type c to the lightning to your phone uh, cable is tight as well and make sure your microphone audio is actually going through the camera and then through the hdmi cable once everything is good man you actually good to go i also tested it with my atem mini pro and i was able to switch multiple cameras so it was i had two three cameras i mean you can connect up to four cameras which is awesome and be able to switch cameras so if you are on the go maybe you have some sort of uh, a way to power your atem mini or you are in a place where you have access to power and you don't have access to internet and you want to stream directly from your phone push the stream to the web obviously you can do it no problem because you can actually take advantage of your internet connection from your phone or your wi-fi and be able to push multiple cameras i mean you can be creative get so many different ways and creative ways to really really be able to take advantage of your iphone and turn it into a streaming device and this little device this is like what it does and kudos to Axon for inventing this amazing device. So overall, I think this device is really amazing, especially for mobile streaming, because before, if you wanted to do this kind of stuff, you needed something like the Yellow Box. Again, I own the Yellow Box. It's an amazing device you can use to do a lot of cool stuff, obviously multiple hdmi inputs a great software for live streaming and everything so the yellow box is a great device but you kind of have to pay over a thousand dollars to get it so if you are on a budget and you need something super super quick that you can actually use your camera and your phone to be able to go live or even to use it for monitoring this is a cool device for sure and i believe it's going to solve a lot of problems this is gonna be super awesome for vloggers or people who are really into streaming on the go however even though i enjoyed using it and i kind of like it 100 percent i have few things or few issues that i wanted to address obviously the first one being the fact that obviously if you're moving you really really uh if you lose the uh, the hmi cable is not super tight uh, it's not well connected in, in your camera a little movement may cause you to lose the signal and it may actually disturb your stream so i wish there was a way to probably make it a little tighter or something i don't know depending on how you're mounting the whole thing it's up to you to make sure it's tight so you don't you, you don't lose the connection another thing that i was expecting from this device that i actually did not get i thought by connecting this device i could take advantage of other streaming apps like i know streamlabs has a mobile streaming app and there's another streaming app called prism studio that has really really cool features live comments you can see you can create some overlays different scenes some countdown timer like so many cool things you can do with those apps so i wish you could have access to your um to to the uh, simo kind of camera uh, you know through those apps so that you can actually take advantage of an actual camera or any hdmi signal coming into your iphone then take advantage of the overlays and other juicy features you find in those mobile apps for streaming i think that was gonna be a game changer because with those apps you are stuck with your actual native phones camera which is a great camera but may not be as good as having an actual external hdmi camera but again i understand axon invented this technology maybe they don't want to share with other apps i don't know but i was expecting that to be an option another thing that i think is a kind of an issue again for streaming this is super standard 
you hit go live and you just live there's no way to have some countdown timer you can't see your comments coming through so you kind of need another device to monitor your comments check your chat and everything or to add some overlays lower thirds and stuff like that they put a lot of effort into making the monitoring side of things again i think was really invented for you know for filmmakers to be able to use their iphones as a camera monitor however since we have this live streaming feature i wish either they create a different live streaming app that will really be strictly for live streaming or they kind of add more features to make the live streaming side of it kind of be more dynamic and kind of be like you know super super useful especially for people like us who enjoy live streaming by the way if you're enjoying this content make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, for more videos like this i'm gonna leave links down below to everything that i use in this video so you guys can take a look my name is sam you're watching that production tips and tools and i'll see you on my next video take care